This is my laptop. Right now, it only has Microsoft Windows installed, but someone suggested that I should install more than just Windows on this computer. I got a comment on my Steam Deck laptop video where I asked, what other operating systems would you guys like me to install? And this is where they replied with a very intriguing idea. In that video, I unintentionally didn't install Steam Deck OS, and you guys did not like that, so I'll actually be installing it this time. The last OS is Chrome OS, and you may be wondering, what file system does it use? Can you even install Chrome OS on an NTFS drive? It's not gonna work. Well, that last one wasn't a question, but you can rest assured that all of this will make sense later. At first, I wasn't even sure how to get this to work because I've never booted into Chrome OS on anything but a Chromebook. Although, I did get our Chromebooks taken away at school for installing Linux so we could play games. Anyway, right now I'm figuring out how to create a bootable Chrome OS flash drive, and as it turns out, it's a little more complicated than I thought. The requirements are as follows for Chrome OS. The laptop needs to have an Intel-based CPU and GPU. Check. The laptop needs to support UEFI booting. Also check. Great, so we're all set then. Easy as that, right? Well, no. Here's where it actually gets tricky. For 10th gen Intel CPUs, you want to download the Voltier version of Chrome OS, but yeah, you see my problem. So I just picked this one. Next, you have to create a boot drive with Ubuntu, then download something called Brunch Extract to the drive, extract a copy of Chrome OS to your drive, and then you end up with something like uh, this. And finally, the drive is complete. Luckily, the Steam Deck OS was just a matter of mounting the ISO to the USB drive, so we can skip that part. At first, I booted into Holo ISO with full hopes I could install the OS on the 50 gig partition I'd made for it. After all, I promised you guys I would get this installed. There we go. We should be presented with, yes, that is exactly what we want to see right there. Okay, we're finally in, so let's go ahead and install SteamOS on this device. Okay, we want the NVMe drive. Password should now be root, because that's what I told it to be. If you enter username, we're going to be known as Gamer. Password, Gaming. Does that look good? Yes, it does. And it just closed. Okay. But no matter what I did, Holo ISO would not install alongside Windows, which made me pretty disappointed. Thankfully, there are many other forks of Linux for this use case. So we're on to Chimera OS, and I had high hopes that this OS would be the one, because after all, Holo ISO is a bit outdated and isn't receiving updates anymore, while Chimera is. Okay, there we go. Install Chimera. Okay, it says no internet connection detected, so I can't actually use the onboard keyboard or anything, because that simply uh, does not work. Oh, now it does. <laughs> Let's see, hold on. If I unplug this keyboard, it still does. Okay, cool, it wasn't working earlier. I am obviously going to blur the Wi-Fi. Okay, let's install. This will be formatted. All of the data. Do you wish to proceed? No, I kind of like my Windows install. Thank you very much. And this is where I found out that Chimera does not support dual booting. <sighs> All right, then let's try WineSap OS. All right, we'll go ahead and hopefully this thing writes. All right, well, Rufus just crashed, so, um, well, I guess that's a no too. After frustratingly going through many incompatible or stubborn operating systems, I finally found one that supports both dual booting and could be installed on the 50 gig partition. My last ditch option, Debian Linux. Thankfully, this one did install and smoothly too. It did take a while because it's a beefier OS than the others mentioned, but I'll take a slow install over no install any day. Okay, so here is where we're actually gonna be able to install it. We want all files in one partition, thank you very much. Done setting up the partition. Continue, continue. Um, oh, finish partitioning and write changes to disk. There we go, that's a little confusing. <laughs> Hopefully this does not overwrite my freaking Windows. <laughs> Okay, we've got our second operating system installed and now it's on to Chrome OS and I'm particularly excited about this one because there's some things that you can do in Windows that I didn't even know that you could do. It is time to install Chrome OS. I'm following this tutorial right here. Autofocus, there we go. Hey, that was actually pretty quick. I preemptively got the Chrome OS folder ready here. There you go, now you can see it. I've got all the good stuff right up in there for you. So the first thing that we have to do is install WSL slash Ubuntu wsl dash dash install um i don't know what all this is uh so this is what it needed to be installed so i'm just going to download this from the microsoft store okay so it wants a username again gamer password gaming installation successful yay we're in linux we have to do sudo apt update and and sudo apt dash y install tvc gpt 
Oh, let's go. This is exciting. We're getting Chrome OS. Everybody, start freaking out. I'm looking through the thingy here. It's, it says to do the things that we've already done, like get in the Chrome folder ready. That looks like it is finished. Looks like we have to download a program called grub to win Okay, this looks not great. Eh, you know what? I'll take my chances. When would we ever do anything the right way on this channel? I mean, yeah, just take the chance on the grub to win from a SourceForge website that has ads freaking everywhere. Uh -huh. Virus detected. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't see that one coming from a mile away. Yeah, this one looks much more trustworthy. Let's download from here. Hi. Virus detected. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna do something that I would not recommend anyone do. Turn that off, thank you. Turn that off, we'll turn that off. We'll turn that off, just because. Download, give me the files. Hey, hey there we go, grub to win zip. Let's go. All right, let's, let's open this up. Oh God, yes, run anyway. Thank you for the virus. Yep, this looks trustworthy. Okay, and it's downloading. So for better or worse, it is downloading. Okay, it said extracting. Okay, it's doing things. Um, select target drive. It's encrypted with BitLocker. Okay, look at this. When I bring this up, this PC, it's not. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. No, look at it! Hi. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! I want all of you to look at it! <laughs> okay, so while this thing was doing its thing, I figured out that I have to turn off full device encryption. So I turned that off and let that go. So now we can actually install grub to win Hey, hey, there we go. Hold on, I need to zoom out a little bit. There we go. Now it's actually letting us set up. Windows system language is English. Good job. So I think, I think it's done. Setup completed successfully. Close the setup program and it's cleaning up after itself. How polite. That's some 1990s eight software if I've ever seen it. Okay, it says to open back up Ubuntu. So we're gonna do CD slash MNT for mount. And then it's gonna have to be the folder location of our Chrome OS thing. So control C that and right click. It's telling me that there's no such file directory. Too many arguments. Well, I am so sorry. Maybe you need to go to therapy. I don't know how it's saying that there's no such file directory. It's, it's, it's literally right here, buddy. Okay, so I figured out that you have to mount your users folder but then it was still giving me the same errors where I can't, it, it doesn't see the directory or it's too many arguments, but I changed the directory to freaking download. And look at that, I can even change directories into the Chrome OS folder. Anyway, this is, this is where we wanna be. So everything is fine. I'm gonna let this thing do its thing and then uh, we're gonna come back once it's done. It says the Chrome OS disk image has been created. If you want to dual boot this disk image with grub to win D-U-A-L-B-O-O-T. The config needed to boot Chrome OS from grub to win has been generated in the file. Okay, so I actually want to see if that was made. So we'll go to the partition, we'll go to brunch. The, the grub to win thingy is here. The time is now to open this grub to win application. It says to manage boot menu, add a new entry, create user section, and then we want all of this in here, and then save it. And he, the guy said to like just ignore all the errors and just apply, close. We should be good to just boot into Chrome OS. Let's try it. Oh, okay, I just had to scroll down a little bit. I was so worried. It says brunch right here, which is exactly what we need to boot into. RootFS is being built. The guy in the tutorial said that it could take a while. I'm gonna just let this go like I did with the other thing. We'll come back once once Chrome OS is booted, if it does boot. We are in Chrome OS. I am blurring the Wi-Fi, but I'm gonna get this set up real quick. Okay, we're getting the device ready. Hey, let's go. We're browsing as a guest. Should be fully installed still. Even if we are browsing as a guest, I just haven't added an account. Let's go to YouTube and let's see if we can find our YouTube channel. ID 10 T error. Ladies and gentlemen, there we are. If you guys haven't watched these videos, freaking watch them. <laughs>